Hey guys, what's up? It's Miles. I am here with Macy, of course. She's my shadow. But we're in part three of this catch-up series and it should be the final part. I think after this we will be on videos that were filmed after I went to West Texas and Big Bend. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I've got a lot of cool stuff in store afterwards. I had a fun trip down to South Texas. I'm going to a Reptile Expo this weekend. But yeah, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and enjoy the snakes and other critters in this video. ahead and interrupt now with voiceover. I I've realized that I can't record my car while it's running. I don't know if it's the air conditioner or if it's just the ambient sound of my car. It you just can't hear anything that I'm saying and I'm sorry about that guys but it's just something that I've learned. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game here and it's called Spot the Snake. And it's just like a fun game for people who are into herping to play. I show you a photo slash video and you have to spot the snake. Uh, for this one, it is pretty hard to see, I will say, but it is also zoomed in, so I believe in you. Um, you've got three chances, so good luck. Take a moment to pause the video right now and comment if you saw the snake and if you know the species you get bonus points. Bonus points go towards nothing though. So we just got here and already got our first snake. <laughs> this has become the most common snake I'm seeing these days, but that's fine. <laughs> it's really freshly shedded, but it's the uh, flat-headed snake, Tantilla gracilis. I do love these guys. I don't know why they're so interesting to me. They're so common and basic, but that orange belly that I cannot, he's just really upset. Yeah, here, Let's see if we can see that orange stomach. Yeah, it's not gonna focus and he's just, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see it. But yeah, we're gonna let him go. He's not happy. He just wants to get back to digging. We'll put him back in the log that I found him. Okay. One, buddy. As you can see, the trails really changed from the forest I was in to more sandy, dry, rocky. Really hope that I could see like a hognose snake, maybe a rough green, but this seems like it could be good for hognose. So we'll see, we'll see.
not much exciting here, but it's a little centipede. Hopefully we can focus on it. I'm gonna flip this log back over. Oh, we've seen nothing, but uh, at least we have some snake evidence. It's probably just more of the uh, flathead snake skin sheds, since that's the only snake we've seen. Just got done at the gym, got my protein shake, and I'm headed to a trail I've never been to. Just gonna go on a quick hike before I have to go home and cook dinner. So far, I like this trail a lot. It seems like there's a lot of good rocks to flip and stuff, especially at the trailhead. But right now, just kind of taking in the scenery. It's really pretty. I wish I got some pictures of the uh, view on my way in, but I'll get some on the way out. a tarantula here guys you can see it's molt right there and the tarantula itself is I can see its leg and I saw it scurry back in hmm one way we could get it out is with some water Well, that didn't work. <clears throat> there it is. It's a pretty young one. You can see it right there. I just want to get out a little bit more. There we go. Very cool. Yeah, this is a young one, but it is an Aphonopelma hensi, Texas brown tarantula. Get it. Very cool. All right. We disrupted him way more than we should have, so I'm going to put the rock back down. Thank you, friend. I believe that this is a tarantula hawk. Right here. These guys will lay their eggs. They'll sting a tarantula, paralyze it, lay their eggs in it. The tarantula lives until the eggs hatch. And apparently they have a really, really wicked sting. I heard a rustling in the grass up ahead and was greeted by this long, plain-bellied water snake. I handled it a bit and surprisingly it was pretty calm for this species.
that's it for this week's video. You might have noticed that I posted on Friday this week. I think I'm gonna switch to like a Friday, Monday schedule where I post every 10 days and then kind of in between, I'll come up with some fun shorts and um, photos to share. And also like in between the videos, if you follow me on Instagram at snakes with miles, then you'll be able to follow me a lot better. But yeah, we'll pick up next week. Uh, well, not next week, the following Monday, 10 days from today. Uh, with my next video. I think it's one video between now and South Texas. It's still a great video. I find some critters that I have not ever seen before in the wild. Two videos from now is when we'll start South Texas and I think that that will probably have to be broken down into two parts but we see some really <laughs> some really cool snakes and we find one pretty rare snake and a gigantic snake so you won't want to miss that one. Oh, no.